Hey everyone, my name is Steve Janisak. I'm the Market Center Tech Trainer at the KW in Maplewood, New Jersey. This time I'm going to show you guys how to create your own custom smart plans in KW Command. So I have the home page here. In case you guys don't already know what these different icons mean on the left hand side, you can hover over them or you can click the KW logo at the top and have an idea of what exactly each icon here is on the left hand side. So you have smart plans, which is the one that we're going to work with today. I'm going to click that. And that is going to bring you to the My Smart Plans page. So in here, you're going to see all the smart plans that you already have that you downloaded either from the library or that you created on your own. And then over here, you can see published. So if you actually decided to publish your own smart plans, you could do that and share them with the KW community either nationwide or I believe even worldwide, anywhere that agents can access KW Command, they should be able to utilize your smart plans. They can also review them and give them up to five stars if they really like the smart plan that you put together. So in order to put together a smart plan, we're actually gonna go up here where it says create. And you're gonna to have to first off name your new smart plan. So I'm just gonna call this one a test plan for now. You can call it whatever you want. And then you're going to hit apply. And then that's going to bring you to a screen where you're going to be able to put together your smart plan. On the right hand side here, you're going to see actions. So each one of these actions will be a step in your smart plan. So you can create a task, make a call, send an email, send a text, create delays between the steps, add them to a different smart plan, and you can restart the smart plan. So we'll start by creating a text. So in here I hit send SMS MMS. That's going to create the first step here. So in order to use the text message feature in a smart plan, you will have to create a Twilio account, which I will cover in another video. But once you create your Twilio account, you will then be able to create a static or a dynamic text. So a static text is good if you're just doing a smart plan and you're going one way, one cycle through it. A dynamic text is where you can create multiple texts. So if you restart a smart plan, each time through, it's going to send a different text message. So down here is where you would put your text message, the actual message. You could type it out. And then in here, you can actually create, there's, I call this a function button, where you can actually input any one of these different functions into your text. So you can add contact first name, contact last name. So you could say hi and then put contact first name and contact last name. And then that will actually take the contacts first and last name from your contacts here and put it in the text message so it's personalized. And then you can also, I oftentimes say it's a good idea to put your app link at the bottom of the text because that will go ahead and pull your dedicated app link into the text message. So your client or contact can then click the link and download your KW app directly from the text message that you just sent them. And then over here, you're going to want to create a delay. And a delay is simply how many days in between the steps. So usually maybe three or four days. And once you complete that, then you can hit create task. Now creating a task is simply more or less a reminder that will show up in your tasks here in command. So if you want to be reminded to send an email, if you want to be reminded to make a phone call, you can put that in here. You, again, you can use the function buttons here for your, ta your task name and your task description. And you can also add a hyperlink if you want as well. We'll set another delay. We'll do, let's pretend we want to do a week. And then we want to send an email. So in sending an email, it's automatically going to send from the email address that is assigned to your command. You're going to want to input your subject here. And then you can either do a simple email, which is where you would just type out your message, or you can actually pull from designs and command and import a design that you already created, and that will go out as the email when this step comes up in the smart plan. We'll set another delay. Maybe this time we'll do three days. And we can hit create a task. So this would just be another task. You could do one more delay. Let's say we want to do like 10 days and then one final step, make a phone call, 
similar to a task. It's just going to prompt you to, it's going to remind you to, did I do phone call here? No, that's task. So it's just basically going to remind you to make a phone call. You could put your script here and then you'd be good to go. And then finally, we can set another delay. And typically you want to conclude a smart plan by adding your contacts who are assigned to this smart plan, maybe to a long-term smart plan, something like a long-term nurture, neighborhood nurture, something like that, where you could add this. And then you could select from the different smart plans that you already have in your My Smart Plans, in your Smart Plans in Command. So oftentimes you want to maybe add them to a My Long-Term Nurture. And then what that will do is it'll automatically transfer these contacts to that smart plan. And then you'll start getting the alerts and reminders to reach out to people in a long-term way, as well as any emails and text messages that are also included in the long-term smart plan. And you can also restart the smart plan. So like I was saying, if you were to restart it and you had dynamic texting up here, if you had four different texts in, in queue, this time around, the second text would go. If you restarted it again, the third text, and so on and so forth. Okay, so when you're good to go, you're gonna hit save. It's not gonna allow me to save it because I didn't actually complete all the fields, but once you complete all the fields and everything is good, it's gonna allow you to save it. And then we're gonna go back to the My Smart Plans here, and it will show up here. And then you can simply go over here and add contact from here or you can go into your contacts. You can check off the contacts that you wanna add, go to bulk actions, and then just do a bulk add to the smart plan that you wanna put those contacts on. So if you guys have any questions about how to create a custom smart plan in KW Command, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll be more than happy to walk you guys through it. Thanks for watching.